I now present my critique of the wonderful works for Golden Time Talent Season 52. Liga Group Harmony Music School from Israel, age 11 to 14, I graded 8.5. The bass player, the synthesizer, uh, the drummer, rhythm guitarist, and particularly the lead guitarist played live on stage to a Stevie Wonder cover song. It was one of very few entries this year for such a band and the performance I thought was in time. It had good energy, a uh, good rhythm, a good stage presence, and uh, they are well deserved of the 8.5 out of 10. I would like to see them perform live and maybe another song as well. So the second critique was for Nicole Gorbacheva in the 15 to 17 year old category. Uh, presented from the USA. It was a piano piece. It was an exemplary performance, uh, masterful key work, pacey and precise, holding me captivated, telling a constant musical story on a roller coaster of excitement from its whimsical start to its magnificent finale, awe inspiring hugely talented, well done. The next one was from uh, Andrew Sado, uh, rock vocals from Georgia. I rated as a nine out of 10. It was a high class performance. It sounded like a great song. I only wish it would be longer. It seemed to be only 50 seconds. I'm sure the rest of the song followed on and got stronger but I don't know because I couldn't see any more of the song. It would have been nice to know what uh, the structure was, the verse, the chorus, a bridge, uh, where it went. Um, a little bit more would have been good to have a really uh, well-rounded um, chance. And I say that because only one or two other people showed a limited presentation of their work and I have to say I couldn't give it any higher because, well, I don't know what it was um, after it ended. And also it was, it seemed to be mixed and mastered in a studio. It was a good music video and uh, there's a lot of potential that it could be. Let's see if uh, we could hear uh, the song live, played with a band and I, 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 I think it would be a wonderful thing. So the next one is uh, Mikola Shomivsky, uh, 18 to 24 from Ukraine. I gave eight out of 10 for pop vocals. Um, there was a good music video. The dancers, uh, I'm not sure if it was live. I can't tell if it was live. Um, there were no instruments being played. However, it was, um, entertaining because it was on stage the dancers were were uh, important behind it gave some depth um, but I just couldn't tell whether the song was being sung live um, and uh, it would have been nice to know the full depth of the vocalist uh, and how they would perform in such a then Laria Lubinskaya, pop vocals uh, for the eight to 10 year olds. I gave 8.5 out of 10. Uh, she's from Kazakhstan where she presented it, sang very proficiently to a backing track, keeping in perfect time, tenacious accents, energy emotions far beyond her years, bearing in mind the age of this young performer, uh, singing live, um, presumably English is a second language, and um, showed amazing composure and maturity. She's one to watch over the years, a star in the making. Um, the next one was Valeria Olin Yik, eight to 10 years old, 8.5 I gave for pop vocals, singing live on stage, and she sang in Ukrainian. Angelic for a young voice, showed maturity with childlike emotions, mixed together, making a captivating performance. Um, she reached very good notes musically and into the final of the song, held composure, pronounced the words perfectly 
and also put herself in a great contention, showing her um, her strength. And in the last 15 seconds of the song, she showed how her voice can change to make different notes through harmony, which was amazing for someone who's still developing her vocal cords. A pleasure to listen to. The next one was Jana Stepania uh, from Armenia, uh, eight to 10 years old, pop vocals. I graded 8.5, unbelievable performance. She had everything. Whitney Houston being such a diva. And she did a cover song of that notable vocalist uh, when also taking into consideration her years and that English is possibly not her first language. Um, she fearlessly took the stage and the song went to places that more experienced singers would be proud of, professionally very happy with, and she's a real star in the making. The final three are as follows. Tiona Shatterbashvili, uh, the age group of 31 to 50 from Georgia. I graded for eight out of 10. Um, academic vocals um, with an orchestra, powerful voice, reaching astonishing notes with a pitch perfect tempo, creating a breathtaking, fascinating song journey for the listener. Emotional rendition, well done. Um, fitting of any opera would not be out of place. Um, note, it was a live vocal, so possibly extra marks. The uh, last but one is Luzine Kobalian for academic vocals, 31 to 50 years old from Armenia, uh, singing something that sounds like Ava Maria, accompanied with a great piano. Uh, supreme pronunciation, holding the audience captivated with subtle but strong changes intonation, lengthening the notes in perfect time, was really natural and like an angel, um, great operatic singer, sure to make it look easy and it was live as well the last was gayan gambarian 31 to 15 years old from armenia accompanied by a piano live giving a master class in an ever-changing pitch perfection song telling a story with breathtaking epic high notes with an astounding ability to show delicacy while strong unwavering vocals from the sweet beginning through to the awe-inspiring finale. Simply brilliant and well done. That concludes my critique of my uh, favorite songs. I hope you find that helpful.